Central Florida's tourist economy depends on the hard work of many low-wage workers in the hospitality and tourism industry. With over 50 million visitors a year, it is harmful for workers to go to work if they are sick. But many do because they can't afford not to. The question, what is your view on the citizens for the Greater Orange County Initiative to bring turn sick time to all employees in Orange County employed by businesses with 15 or more workers. I served on the board of Health Central Hospital and it was the first place where people would go to seek medical treatment because they didn't have insurance, because they waited until they were critically ill, and it's easier to treat a chest cold than it is to treat pneumonia. So if people can get treatment early, it's less expensive for the physicians, it's less expensive for the hospital, uh, it means that you have a healthier workforce, so I support the paid uh, sick time. Paid sick time is uh, something that should be due to every worker in our state, because the worker is responsible for his or her family providing for um, you know, children and everything like that. And of course, people get sick. But uh, what, I, what I would be against is if somebody pretends to be sick and not being sick is really, because we understand that the entrepreneurs is an investor, somebody who invests to uh, make the money work and get the profit out of it. At the same time, I have the privilege, the opportunity to learn the job to work, and I have to work under the best interest of the company. Of course, there must be uh, a mutual understanding between the workplace and the worker. The worker must not take advantage of the workplace at the same time the workplace must treat the worker, you know, equally. Since, since this initiative began, I've always been a proponent of earn safe time, bottom line. Um, as a, formerly, I, I was a restaurant manager for the largest restaurant uh, corporation uh, in the nation, uh, Darden Restaurants, and I've been a manager, I was a manager for that company for four years, uh, and currently, I roll up my sleeves every single day, and I clock in that, that, at that punch clock, and I clock out when I go home, and I'm a bartender. I bartend. Uh, to, to pay my bills, and I know for a fact, firsthand, what it's like to have to go to work, and I know what it's like to have to uh, go to work sick in order to pay my life bill and my car insurance. Uh, so I'm 100% for the earn sick time, um, and I'm behind it 100%. I have to tell you, I have mixed feelings on this, and I'll tell you why. I think it's a great thing for everyone to get sick time, don't think that. All the campus and I have been doing, I've been adding this to my issue list and asking people, well, what do you think about this? And here's what they said. A large majority of the people are worried that people are going to be laid off, possibly lose their jobs, and it's going to make it worse. We don't know. We haven't had this happen yet, so nobody knows what the outcome is going to be. But here's what I would tell you I would do as a county commissioner. If the, I think it's 43,000 petitions had to be refunded and going toward the Board of County Commissioners, if that many petitions, 43,000, that is a huge number. Believe me, I have to get 1,140 to qualify, and I can't tell you how long that took. So if 43,000 petitions came to us as Board of County Commissioners, I would say, wow, 43,000 people are interested in this. I would absolutely vote that it go on the referendum. I would definitely do that and let the people decide. So that is something that I would do. But uh, I just don't think that local government should be involved in telling employers how they should operate their business. And I think if somebody was detrimental and needed sick time, maybe you know, look for something with sick time. But again, I would put on the referendum and let the people decide how it I think I'm paying sick time. Um, and I certainly favor it being on the ballot. Nothing is more important than jobs right now. Jobs are very important, and keeping people on their jobs is even more important. You know, jobs feed our economic engine. You know, people that are happily employed are high morale. You cut down on absenteeism. These are the people that are paying taxes, 
feeding the budget so that we don't have to raise taxes elsewhere. So anytime we can sure up jobs, that's what we need to do. Right now, every elected official in the United States should be focusing on job creation and making sure we do everything we can to keep people happy, engaged, and on the job. I would favor this being on the on the ballot. Our concern should be uh, on whether the bill should be passed, on whether we should have a room in that would grant people sick time. Rather than worrying about who's going to be cheating, we have to deal with that on an individual basis.